We're here in San Francisco. We've just had our AI360 conference. And while we're in the city, uh, we noticed that there's a lot of Waymo cars driving. We found, in fact, one has just arrived behind uh, Ritesh over here. Um, so we wanted to try it out. I mean, Waymo is one of the first robo taxi companies that are operating at the moment. Uh, they're running a fleet of Jaguar I-Pace cars. Yeah, we're going to take a ride today and you're going to come with us. The first thing we had to do was download the Waymo One app, which was pretty painless. Set up an account with payment in the way that you would do with, uh, with Uber or Lyft. Um, and uh, yeah, and then we requested a ride. Now, for Waymo, it's only operating in a very small area of San Francisco, but there's a lot of people here, so it's a, a good area for it to you know, try out and gain experience. But here it is. So it's arrived and you can see that, uh, so Neil Shah actually called the car and his name, or at least his initials are at the top. Neil now has to open the app to unlock the car. The car is currently locked. The car is now unlocked. You see the handles have popped out so we can access it. So we're on board now. And we have to press the start ride button either in the app or on the screen, the display in the car. Now the start ride button is being pressed. As we get going, just give us one minute to cover a few riding tips. This experience may feel futuristic, but the need to buckle up is the same as always. So keep your seatbelt fastened, please. If you're traveling with little ones, or it's So the car seems to have got slightly flummoxed by a truck that's parked in the uh, right-hand lane. Who hasn't got their seatbelt on? It became... All right, we're on board. We have our seatbelts on. Doesn't like it if you don't have your seatbelt done up. And now we're just waiting for pedestrians. So we've acti activated a mode in the on Street. in the application where the car tells you what it's doing. So it told us it was yielding to pedestrians and it's telling us the direction it's taking now. <laughs> just then there was a parked vehicle in the left-hand lane and the car had to uh, maneuver around it. There was also a car in the middle lane and it got pretty close to it, but never at any point did we feel like it was going to collide with that car. So this gives you some idea of the number of Waymo cars in the city because we're now part of a little convoy of three. The car is playing its own music playlist, but you can link the app to a Google account. So if you have YouTube music, you can play your own playlist through the car stereo. So from the Waymo app, you can control certain things about the car, such as the temperature of the AC, San Francisco is famous for its steep hills and we're just going up one now so we're going to come to a stop and take a left turn. It's a pretty steep hill here so we're going to find out how good the hill hold is.
just about there. Don't forget your phone, keys, or wallet. Your future self will thank you. <laughs> For your safety, the doors will remain locked when we arrive. Pull the handle twice to exit. The first pull unlocks, the second opens the door. So here we are at the uh, at the Coit Tower, uh, which is where we asked Waymo to bring us, and it did it very smoothly. No hassles, no dramas, uh, and it wasn't in the least bit spooky. So, you know, apart from having to download an app, it was the whole experience is very smooth, um, enabling the uh, uh, sort of annotations to the ride helped the car to explain to us what it was doing when it was pausing to let pedestrians cross for example it was extremely smooth and uh yeah it was feels like the future is arriving anyway it's peter richardson signing out from coit tower in san francisco see you on the next one